Hi, my name is Paul Bradley and I'm the president of Rock USA. Rock USA's reason for being is to help homeowners gain security of the land under their homes. As renters of the land, homeowners face three basic risks. Excessive rent increases, poor quality infrastructure, and the biggest risk of all, community closure, where homeowners are displaced. So since 1984, homeowners have been organizing co-ops and purchasing their communities and becoming resident-owned communities. This is the gateway to Glacier National Park in northern Montana. Nearby is the booming town of Kalispell, and inside it is this resident-owned community. This is Green Acres Cooperative. Um, I've lived here for uh, eight years, and I just really enjoy living here. So in 2008, I got a call one evening, and my husband had collapsed at our home in a cardiac arrest. We eventually lost our home and um, ended up at Green Acres. It's affordable. It can't be sold out from underneath me, and um, my family is safe and secure here. In the Flathead Valley, our rents have really skyrocketed in the last five years or so. So living in a manufactured home community, you are a homeowner, you have that pride of ownership, and if you're in a resident-owned cooperative, you have the pride of ownership in your entire community. One of the inherent challenges in manufactured home communities or mobile home parks is uh, people have 50 and 60 year old images of what manufactured housing or at the time trailers represent. And the fact of the matter is that the product, the homes, have evolved tremendously. Society itself really judges mobile homes, parks, and owners of mobile homes. And we experienced that ourselves when we were purchasing a home, we were going to throw a housewarming party and I had friends say why would you throw a housewarming party when you're just buying a trailer but once people come into the community and they come into our house they just fall in love with it come on in let me show you my house this is our master room and in here is our master bath my husband did the mosaic around the tub for me and this is our living room and kitchen and I love how open it is when you're a renter, whether it be a park or a home, there's always that chance that that could be taken away from you. And when you own your own place and you are part of the co-op, you don't have to worry about that happening. Homeowners that get together in a co-op really face three basic barriers to becoming a resident-owned community. Uh, first is just the opportunity itself uh, that community owners provide to homeowners. Uh, to go through the process of, of acquiring the property. Well, if somebody asked me about selling to the community like I did, I would, I would highly recommend it. I mean, it gives me a good feeling that I was able to help in some way. Two is access to the training and education uh, and, the, and the technical assistance, both pre-purchase as well as post-purchase. When working with new potential communities or communities that are up for sale, we visit with the community members and let them know what the plus sides of becoming a cooperative are. One of the key assets that Rock USA provides to homeowners in communities, of course, is access to capital. We help low and moderate income homeowners act like deep pocketed investors. In order for us to do that, we really have to be aligned with larger institutional lenders. The National Co-op Bank and MetLife represent that to Rock USA Capital. We're here today in Taunton, Massachusetts at Colonial Estates and Oak Hill. Both of these communities were financed by Rock USA Capital in partnership with the National Co-op Bank and MetLife to deliver really competitive financing to help make both purchases possible. I moved in here in 2012 and then two years later I retired. A month after that they told us that the park was going to be sold and I Real? Uh, no. So I went and Googled, how do you buy a mobile home park? And up comes Rock USA. And they helped us purchase the park for $37 more dollars. We could actually own and run our own park. We're here today to tell you about our park and how happy we are since we've purchased it. I feel like, um, you know, we own the, the land and the, and the property ourselves. And this way here, I don't feel uh, you know, like it can be taken away from us. The best thing about living in a co-op is um, that my finances are easily more manageable here. I've lived here for 36 years and for the past two years that we own this place, I know the people and I'm on a committee 
So that makes me feel like part of them. We've gotten to know each other better, we've gotten to know each other's names, and it's just, you know, it feels more like a family than just, you know, some neighbor down the street. Once the homeowners have purchased the community, their long-term interest is in the affordability and in the quality of the community. We found a home here uh, located uh, at Colonial Estates, and uh, when we investigated and looked into it, we found out that the community was up for sale and it was going to be a resident-owned community. The residents, they were afraid, and the community voted against that process. And then three years down the line, it came, the opportunity came again, and um, they did make the decision to uh, purchase the community. I think it was a very good move. Um, we have control of what goes on the people that live here because we own the place. Being resident owned, it's, a, it's run democratically and that means that everyone here makes their own decisions together on what they want to do in the community. We don't have to go to an owner that's you know, thousands of miles away to get permission to do something. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There's no need as a resident owned community to make a profit all we have to do is pay our bills. We have not had to increase our rent since we purchased the community, but we did make decisions that instead of putting Band-Aids on things where a large corporation would have done, is that we are actually repairing and repairing them properly. <laughs> Colonial Estates as a community uh, really is a community. People have taken pride in their homes. People have taken pride that they've actually purchased the, uh, the, the properties. We own a place. We're secure, we're safe, we're not going anywhere. And that's, that's the nice part about it. So the co-op model works so beautifully for this particular situation. If someone were to ask me about becoming a co-op and if they were considering it, I would say do it. The land under our homes cannot be sold out from underneath of us. Um, that's extremely devastating to people. I've seen it happen. And this gives people the opportunity to really have it all, affordability and home ownership. Homeowners everywhere want the same basic thing. They want a decent community that's safe and secure and affordable. And when homeowners have the opportunity, we have proven time and again that we can provide the access to the resources, the training and education, and the financing to make that possible.